Hey guys, it's Anna and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be the best of beauty, the best makeup of 2017. We have a lot to go through. This makeup hasn't necessarily launched in 2017, but it's the year that I've been using the crap out of these products. These are like my ride or die, tried and true, I adore them products. I've hit pan on these. This is my makeup, you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's just go straight into it. My favorite products of 2017. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with primers. My most used primer this year by far was the Too Faced Hangover RX Face Primer. I have dry skin and this just makes everything better. And I know that there are certain primers that only mix well with certain foundations, but with this primer, it makes any foundation look amazing. It really just provides the perfect base to apply makeup with. It smells like coconuts, super nourishing, hydrating, and it does have a little bit of a tacky feel to it, so I feel like it makes my makeup last on longer. I've cried wearing this primer before, and I feel like it made my makeup stay on way better than when I don't wear this primer, and I don't know what it is about this primer, but I just feel like every single foundation mixes well with it, which is very rare to find a primer that works like really Really well with so many different foundation finishes and the second primer that I found somewhat recently this year is the Smashbox photo finish primer oil also amazing for those of you who have dry skin this also has a little bit of a tacky feel to it with this primer it doesn't work as amazingly with every single foundation as the Too Faced primer does but I find that with matte foundations this looks stunning. This primer will transform your foundation to truly look like skin. It gets rid of any powderiness on the skin, any dryness whatsoever. You could load on the powder, but if you have this primer on, girl, you're not going to look powdery. And I've used this so much already, but a little bit truly goes a long way. Like it looks like I've barely touched this, but I use it all the time. Moving on to foundations, 2017 was the year that I discovered that foundation doesn't have to look like makeup. It can look like skin. And ever since I discovered these four foundations, I haven't wanted to use anything else. The hunt for foundations now for me is real. Like I just won't settle for a foundation that doesn't look like skin, that's not my jam. Like when I apply makeup, I want it to look the most airbrushed, the most natural, the most skin-like as possible. I don't like makeup that looks like cakey, powdery, heavy makeup. Like it's just, I mean, nah. So these are the foundations that I just can't put down ever since I've gotten them. I just can't use anything else. They're so good. And funnily enough, they all kind of do the same thing for me. Starting off drugstore and with a freaking bang is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. The hype is real, you guys, with this foundation. This is truly like high-end formula. It's phenomenal. It's full coverage. It has the most natural matte finish. It lasts all day long on the skin. It is just a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It's drugstore. I just, it's unreal. Next up is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I fell in love so fast, you guys, with this foundation. I have dry skin and I don't have any issues with this foundation drying me out. I know some people do, but for me personally, I absolutely love it. It looks flawless on the face. It has a medium full coverage depending on how you build it. Thanks to Jaclyn Hill, I tried out the Dior Skin Forever Foundation this year. This foundation smells so bougie. I just feel like a queen when I'm applying this. Like it just smells like a beautiful like perfume smell but not anything too overwhelming or crazy. This also has a very natural matte finish. This one has a beautiful medium coverage. It lasts really long in the skin. By the way, all these last really well. Like I just couldn't wear a foundation that wouldn't last long. I have way too much to do in the day. And lastly is the Lancome Tint Eye Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. This one is full coverage, you guys. Again, beautiful matte finish. This one doesn't look like skin just because of how full coverage it is, but it doesn't look 
dry or emphasize any texture or anything that you don't want on your face. So when I say these look like skin, it doesn't necessarily mean they're like, oh, a BB cream. It's just like a flush of color. It just means that they don't look super drying. They don't look cakey. They just look really flawless on the skin. As for concealers, I have two to show you today and they're actually both drugstore. I know that the Tarte Shape Tape is everyone's favorite this year, but honestly, I've been really enjoying like the hydrating medium coverage concealer so that is what I'm gonna show you guys today even though Tarte Shape Tape is still bomb. This one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer as you can see. I've used a bit of it. This one has really good coverage, not like full, full, full intense coverage, but it'll cover anything that you want covered. I find that it is more of like a soft matte concealer. It's not like super hydrating, but it's not drying underneath the eyes at all. I just can't stop reaching for this. It blends like a dream. And this one is the Collab Concealer. You can get this at Sally Beauty. I did a full face of Collab Beauty um, a few videos back. So if you're interested in that brand, it's a brand new brand. So if you want to check it out, out you can. I have fallen in love with this concealer and for weeks I didn't reach for anything else but this concealer. It is so lightweight and hydrating. It has a nice medium coverage and I wouldn't say it's like dewy because you don't want wet looking under eyes but it's not like matte satin. There you go. And it blends so nicely. I find that some concealers, when you blend them out, will pick up the foundation underneath and this never does that. Next, moving on to powders. This was a powder that I used for so long and didn't touch anything else this year. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. This is so good, you guys. It doesn't matter if you have oily skin, dry skin, this is gonna work for you. It is a beautiful matte finish. It's not gonna dry you out, make you look just like a prune. It's not gonna look super powdery on the face. I can even use this to set my concealer, and normally I have to use a loose setting powder, otherwise I will crease so badly, but this, I can use underneath the eyes and it is just so easy like if you're just lazy and you're like I don't want to whip out the loose setting powder I'm in a rush or whatever it may be grab the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder oh there it goes <laughs> it is so good as you can see I've hit pan it's it's a favorite these next two powders are from collab <sighs> if you want airbrushed like perfection in a pot in a pan you have to grab these. This is the Kill the Shine Pressed Powder and I use this powder every single day to set my face and it just has the most beautiful like satin natural finish. It's not dewy, it's not glow, dewy. <laughs> it's not glowy, it's not shimmery, it's not super matte, it's like the perfect in between. Again, my freaking motto, I want my makeup to look like skin. These two products do it. Same thing with this loose setting powder. I find that so many loose setting powders by the way this is the set the stage ultra fine loose setting powder so many loose setting powders dry out my under eyes really bad and this just looks like airbrushed perfection and feel your face after you use those products it's softer than a baby's butt I swear Moving on to contour powders and bronzers. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glue Glue <laughs> Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. These are just like the perfect shades for my skin tone. It's not too ashy, doesn't get muddy, it blends like a dream. These literally apply like butter. To the skin. This next one is the e.l.f. Warm Bronzer. My jaw drops every single time I apply this bronzer. It blends perfectly and it is such a beautiful shade and it has this luminosity to it but it's not too glowy. There's no shimmer chunks in it. It's just the perfect natural slightly glowy warm bronzer. They also have a golden bronzer and a cool bronzer. It's so affordable. You can't go wrong with this. And this next bronzer the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer is the bronzer that I could not stop reaching for when I wanted just like a normal matte 
bronzer. This shade doubles as a contour and a bronzer for me, so it's perfect. I know I mentioned like a while ago in one of my videos that I was a little bit frustrated with this product, even though I still really liked it. It took me a while to apply just because it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it, but I have grown to really appreciate that in this bronzer because it is foolproof. Like if I could recommend any bronzer to a beginner, it would be this one and not a beginner, like to everyone. What I'm saying is you can't mess up with this bronzer because it is not overwhelmingly pigmented and it blends like butter. It's a butter bronzer. I don't know what magic they put in this, but it is so soft and like whipped and buttery and creamy and it just blends itself out on your face. Like you could take the wackiest brush, slap it on, and you would just look like JLo. Like. We're good. And then this bronzer is definitely a more recent find, but I can already say it's holy grail. This is the Body Shop Bronzing Powder in the shade 04. This is a beautiful, like, orangey warm bronzer. It blends like butter. It is so smooth. It's the perfect pigmentation. If you're a warm toned bronzer lover, you have to pick this up. This makes it look like you've been in Hawaii for like a month. And next, this product is kind of like my transition into the blush section because this has a bronzer and blushes in it. This is the Benefit Cheek Parade Palette. I love this palette. I am so glad that they came out with this palette this year. Yes, it is broken, but the products are okay. The Hula Bronzer, just like the Butter Bronzer, doubles as a contour and a bronzing color for me. It is just flawless, blends like a dream. A beautiful pigmentation, definitely more pigmented than the Butter Bronzer. I reach for it all the time. And then these blushes, I didn't know like Benefit blushes were so freaking good. All three of these are gorgeous. This one is a very cute like muted baby pink color. This one is like a watermelon-y color with a little bit of like gold reflect and this one has like a slight shimmery sheen to it. It's a nice like mauve blush. All three of these are amazing amazing pigmentation and I've just been really impressed with Benefit this year. I'm about to show you guys my all-time favorite blush. Are you ready for it? Anastasia Peachy Love Blush Trio. These colors just take my breath away. Like this is truly perfection for me and my taste and what I love for blush shades. I love summery, peachy, orangey, fresh, youthful looking blush shades. They're pigmented. They last a really long time on the skin. There's just something about these shades that add the most stunning, glow to the cheeks. It makes you look so young and youthful and just very innocent <laughs> and angelic. There's just something that just makes you look so beautiful when you wear these blushes. Another blush that I would highly recommend is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. This one specifically is in the shade Party. This is the one that you get from Sephora when it's your birthday. This is the first Tarte blush that I ever tried and because of this blush, I now have four other ones, but those are pretty new to my collection, so I didn't want to talk about it because this is the shade that I've used the most out of. These are definitely the most long-lasting, hardcore blushes on the market. The pigment is there. These are literally going to last you for, like, years, I feel like, and their range is extremely wearable. You're not going to have these insane bright pops of color or, like, purple blushes. I feel like every single blush shade they come out with is so beautiful and wearable and natural. So many of their blushes go with pretty much any single makeup look, so I would definitely try out Tarte. As for drugstore, need I say more? I'm sure you guys know what this is. Milani Luminoso, if you don't. This just has such a gorgeous glow when you apply it to the cheeks. And just like those Anastasia blushes, this shade makes you look so radiant and beautiful. It just adds the perfect glow to the skin. Just Milani blushes in general are bomb, so if this shade specifically doesn't suit you, I would still definitely recommend checking out their baked blushes. And lastly is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. This one specifically is in the shade Mellow wine. I found this to be such a unique blush shade. It's like a muted 
slightly darker browny peach with like a hint of mauve to it. It's very weird, but I love it. I've been wowed by these blushes. These are only a few bucks. I feel like two to three dollar range, like so affordable. They have beautiful colors. I need to pick some more up because they're very good. As for highlighters, I have two drugstore and two high end. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. This is one of the first highlighters that little Lana ever bought. So here's what that shade looks like right here. It is such a beautiful like peachy champagne highlighter. It's a blinding metallic highlight but it's easy to control. I find that some highlighters if they're way too pigmented and way too like metallic you can go wrong real fast and it won't melt nicely into the skin but this is very easy to work with and I straight up use this for months and nothing else this year. Like for so long this was my go-to highlighter. And this next highlighter is the Milani Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder in the shade Day Glow. This highlighter truly melts into the skin, you guys. As I was saying with the butter bronzer, like you can't mess up with this bronzer. You can't mess up with this highlight because it literally does the job for you. You're never going to get a straight up stripe on your face. And then when you apply setting spray on top of this, like forget about it. It looks insane like photoshopped facetune perfection it's super blinding very finely milled would highly recommend i would say this is definitely like number one number two formula from the drugstore highlighter wise at least that i've tried so far then i have the anastasia nicole guerrero glow kit i fell in love with this glow kit this year you guys i cannot stop using it these colors just intrigued me from the start they're so beautiful and i applaud nicole for making highlighters that are so wearable but yet slightly different from what you normally see this shade right here daydream you might be thinking like what the heck like a straight up orange but this has become like my favorite highlighting shade of all time. It has the most stunning multi-dimensional glow. You literally look like you're from freaking outer space or something, but it's a wearable highlight. It's not like blue or green or something like that. It has orange in it, pink, gold, peach, like it is so insane. And this shade specifically, for whatever reason, just makes you look even more bronzed. I just cannot get enough of this palette. These shades as well, I absolutely love. It has a white shade and a bronze shade, so anyone with any skin tone can pull this off. They really need to bring back this glow kit because this is my favorite glow kit they've ever come out with. It is just so stunning. These highlighters don't emphasize texture. They're blinding, but you can still have a very natural looking highlight with these as well. They're very finely milled Anastasia kills it with the glow kits and then for my favorite highlighting formula of all time all time hands down Becca has the formula down I know that so many brands are coming out with bomb highlighters and a lot of the time I'm like oh it's super blinding oh it's so good but there's something about this formula that is just way different from any other highlighting formula. I put this on and the glow is just perfection. I couldn't imagine a highlighter getting better than this. When I say this looks like one with the skin, it looks like one with the skin. It is undetectable until you turn your head and then it's like, bam, holy freaking shit. That is a highlighter. Like, it's so good, but even if you're a natural highlighter lover, this is still going to work for you because it is so easy to manipulate and control. You can have the most beautiful, natural, glowy, wet, metallic highlight, or you can freaking beam to outer space. Every single time I wear this highlighter, I get compliments Everyone wants to know what I'm wearing on my face. This one specifically is in the shade Prosecco Pop. It's a very gold highlighter, which I love gold highlighters. So if you're around my skin tone and you really liked the idea of wearing Fenty's Trophy Wife, but you're just like, wait, that's way too yellow for me, I would definitely try Prosecco Pop because it is a flat out like gold, yellow gold highlighter, but it is such a wearable, stunning yellow gold highlighter. 
I recommend it. And I just recently picked up Opal and Champagne Pop. I cannot wait to start using those. Now moving on to eyes, the Kat Von D tattoo liner was my holy grail for the longest time. I need to have a brush tip eyeliner for my wing. I just really don't like felt tip liners. And I searched the drugstore for so long for the perfect liner. I couldn't find anything. And one day I stumbled upon the NYX Epic Ink Liner and it has replaced the tattoo liner because it's the same freaking thing but way cheaper. It's waterproof, super black, brush tip, the easiest to apply wing liner with. Another product from NYX is the NYX Glitter Primer. I have used this so much this year. Whenever I want a shadow to really be super metallic, pop in on the lids or I need to apply a glitter of some sort this is a product I always reach for and it keeps it there for all day long I swear it would keep the product on for like a week it's that strong this product I feel like has been in everyone's favorite makeup products of 2017 this is the Stila Magnificent Metals glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow this one specifically is in the shade smoldering satin I was just hooked the first time I tried this formula, you guys, like, is that not insane? These are so glittery and they have so many different shades. So they have all these different like base colors. So this is a really nice bronze color and then it has silver glitters in it. I love that they have an opaque base color underneath and they are jam packed with glitter and this applicator the little doe foot makes it so so easy to do cut creases like you don't have to be skilled at makeup whatsoever to make this work it is so easy you're gonna pop this on everyone's gonna think you're a freaking makeup artist because it looks that cool there's no fallout with these they last all day long and they just look like a freaking amazing disco ball on the lids this is a product i cannot stop using on a day-to-day -day basis i use this product this is the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Waterproof Liner in the shade Nude. When I pop this in the waterline, it really makes my eyes pop and stand out. It makes me look more awake. It draws all this attention to the eyes. And this product does not budge. Even when I take my makeup off at night, it doesn't even come off all the way. It will come off like the next day. It is just bulletproof. As for lashes, I personally don't really like to spend all this money on high-end lashes. They look beautiful, but it's kind of hard for me to justify the price. I just kind of recently started with false lashes. I'm normally just okay with mascara, but it depends on the look. When it's a dramatic look, I like to put on falsies. These are the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. They're super affordable and they are just perfect for my eye shape. They don't cover up my entire lid. They're not like way too full where it's like here's a black fan <laughs> on my eyes. So you can still see the eye makeup through it, but they're just really wispy and so wearable. I swear anyone could pull these off. Now onto eyeshadow palettes. I have four of them to share with you guys and I feel like each of these palettes are my favorites for like one specific reason. They are the palettes that excels the most in a certain category if that makes sense. This is the Tardist Pro palette. This is one of my oldest eyeshadow palettes. As you can see, I've used the crap out of this palette. Tarte Shadows, I've just fallen in love with. You can't go wrong with these. I feel like these are extremely beginner friendly. They're not overwhelmingly pigmented, but the perfect pigmentation. You can really, really build them up or you can just have a beautiful like light wash airbrushed look on the lids. These smell like chocolate. They're super buttery and this is just a palette that I always take with me when I travel because I can't go wrong with this palette. Like the colors are there and there's so many different different looks I can create with this. Like this is a whole color story here, 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 or you can just go crazy, go ham. I really enjoy this palette and I would absolutely recommend it to anyone. This next one is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. This palette is my favorite because I think this is my favorite eyeshadow formula. These are super pigmented. So if you're a beginner, be careful because they're very pigmented. These have a lot of fallout, but I don't care because the pigment is there, super blendable. These colors are gorgeous, like warm toned lovers. You need this palette. I feel like everyone already owns this palette. 
it's a friggin favorite that's why next up is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette this is my favorite because I feel like if I had to choose one eyeshadow palette to live with for the rest of my life it would have to be this eyeshadow palette a because the formula is there and B because of the colors these are all the colors a girl needs like you have so many options in this palette you have your pops of color you have your warm tones browns you have your dark browns black the only shade that this is missing is like a matte cream color but otherwise this is it you guys like if I wasn't an insane crazy makeup junkie and I just needed one eyeshadow palette this is what I would go for Jaclyn seriously amped up the formula with Morphe on this palette Morphe palettes aren't bad at all like by any means in my opinion but it's not like they get me so excited like oh my gosh this is so good like holy grail like wow this is there for me and lastly this eyeshadow palette is my favorite because these are the most pigmented eyeshadows i have used in my entire life this is the magic palette by juvia's place this is my first palette i ever picked up from juvia's place and i just picked up five more because it's that good their shades are just otherworldly they get so incredibly creative with their colors this is a black owned company and they made these shadows to show up on darker skin tones and I think it's so phenomenal you got to be careful though because I swear the pigment is freaking there it's freaking there a brow product I have loved this year is the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is a brow gel that just fluffs up your brow hairs and makes them look more hairy, more full. If you're someone who doesn't like the filled in precise brow look, you have to pick this up because this will give your brows more color. It will fill them in a bit, but it's gonna look very natural. 2017 was the year I discovered brows. <laughs> One of my brows is higher than the other. I was very self-conscious about my brows for many many years and I didn't want to put on any brow products because I didn't want to call even more attention to the difference of my brows because obviously you know filling them in is like oh here's one way higher and here's one lower but I've embraced my brows I've learned that brows are definitely not twins um, mine are like distant distant freaking cousins maybe even different races I don't know either way I have embraced them and I've started filling in my brows and I'm honestly very happy with how they look even though yes they're not perfect and completely even my brow game has has changed a lot considering I did diddly squat to them uh, in 2016 and this was my gateway product basically um, Alex's mom bought this for me because she's like girl you gotta put something in your brows like you gotta do something with brows and I'm like oh, okay and she got this for me and it was so easy and like user friendly it made me feel safe but it still made me feel like my brows are like thicker and fuller now I've gone on to using like brow powder so they're definitely way more filled in now than how they would look um, just with this but I still use this every single day just to bring that hairiness and like natural look to the brows again so yeah benefit give me brow moving on to lip products this has been the year of the lip gloss for me I live in California it's super dry I have dry skin and I just have not wanted to put on super drying lip products at all when I'm rushing out of the house like the first thing the easiest thing to grab is a gloss and for me I just personally really love the look of a super like wet juicy glossy looking lips and my go-to lip glosses are light pinks hello <laughs> or shimmery lip glosses the first one I have here is the NYX butter gloss this one is in the shade fortune cookie this is like the perfect baby pink lip gloss I wear this literally all the time none of these glosses by the way are sticky I hate 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 sticky lip products is this ghosting I don't want it then I have these two these are the Revlon super lustrous lip glosses this one is in the shade sky pink and this one is in the shade sandstorm so this is that baby pink I was talking about this is the shimmery gold and these are so moisturizing and hydrating on the lips this one you can barely see this has the slightest tint to it but it looks so beautiful on the lips and this shade right here is 
called Sandstorm. Honestly, sometimes I grab these over a chapstick even. That's how hydrating they are. They feel like clouds on the lips. They feel so, so good. These last longer on the lips than the NYX Butter Gloss. I am obsessed with these. I feel like these might be my all-time favorite drugstore lip gloss formula. And this last one is the Koki Lip Veneer Cream Gloss in the shade Invincible. This is an opaque lip gloss, but it's not so opaque that it's easy to mess up. Like you want lip gloss to be easy where you can just throw it on and go out of the house. Otherwise, you might as well put on like a liquid lip, take your time, sculpt it out. This is the perfect like pigmented lip gloss and this lasts so long on the lips and it's not sticky. I don't know how it does that, but it lasts for hours on the lips. And because lip gloss was the product that I basically pretty much wore like every single day, it felt like I really didn't experiment a lot with lipsticks, I felt like. So I would try like legitimate liquid lipsticks and regular lipsticks, but I wouldn't constantly reach for them all the time just because I was like, oh no, my lips are too dry today. Oh no, they're too dry today. But this one formula I have to show you guys didn't do that for me. I have no excuses to not wear this. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. This one is in the shade Aquarius. I'm mainly just talking about the formula of these, not necessarily the specific shade, even though I'm in love with this shade. This is a liquid lipstick, so it's fully opaque. There's something magical about this formula. You will not ever get dry lips from this formula. It does transfer, but it does last all day on the lips and it fades in the most graceful way possible and you literally would only have to be like and then you'd have the color back it is the most beautiful liquid lipstick formula i have found so far it's so so comfortable and lastly urban decay has stolen my heart in the setting spray department. This is the Chill Makeup Setting Spray and the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is the one I reach for the most just because I feel like it melts my makeup the best. But then this one, if you're going on a night out, you really need your makeup to stay. I'll go in with like this first to really melt down the makeup. Not that this doesn't melt it, but this one does a better job of it. So I'll do a setting spray that really melts all the powder off of my face and then I'll go in with this and this will keep it locked and loaded. All right, you guys, so those are all of my favorite makeup products for the year of 2017. Please comment down below what have been your favorite products because I'd love to know and I'd love to try them out this year. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. I hope you guys are doing fantastic and I hope we all have an amazing 2018 and uh yeah i hope to see you in my next video bye